antioxidants from food. What food? Food that is high in the ORAC value. O-R-A-C. Oxygen radical absorptive capacity. Yes, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries on your cereal, marvelous. However, nothing, nothing beats the ORAC value of green leafy vegetables. So for patients with heart disease, especially those who have chest pain or angina, I got to get rid of that oxidative cauldron. So I want them to have a green leafy vegetable the size of your fist after it has been cooked in boiling water five and a half to six minutes so it's nice and tender. You will then un anoint it with several drops of delightful lemon juice or perhaps a delightful balsamic vinegar so you're getting an absolute delicious taste treat. How often do I want that? Six times a day, alongside your breakfast cereal, again a mid-morning snack, again with your lunch and sandwich, again mid-afternoon snack, again at dinner time, and God, I adore it when you have that evening snack at the table. <laughs> what you are doing is you're taking this disease and you are bathing, you are basking, you are basking that cauldron of inflammation with nature's most powerful antioxidants all day long. And I recognize that especially the mid-afternoon and the mid-morning will be tougher, but uh, this is a tough disease and it is so powerful to reverse it. And we've had some absolutely remarkable results with this approach and I'm, I don't apologize for it. It's inconvenient, but I think when the patients are made to understand the mechanism behind it and what is going on. They're proud and delighted to snack uh, on something that is so powerful uh, for their own well-being. Now there's one other corollary to this that I should add. You know by now the importance of nitric oxide. Anybody who has cardiovascular disease has it because they have so seriously trashed their endothelial cell capacity to make nitric oxide, uh, they can't protect themselves. Now, the truth be known, at age 50, even with somebody who's beautifully healthy, the amount of nitric oxide that they can make compared to what they could make when they were 25 is now 50%. Well, does that mean that the old carcass is letting you down? No. You're going to learn there is another avenue where which you can make nitric oxide. And how is that? If I can persuade you to chew four, five, or six times a day, chew nitrates. What are, I'm going to give you six right now. So, kale, Swiss chard, spinach, arugula, beet greens, and beets. When you chew those nitrates in your mouth, they're going to mix with the facultative anaerobic bacteria that reside in the crypts and grooves of your tongue. Those bacteria will reduce the nitrates in your mouth to nitrites. When you swallow the nitrites, they are further reduced by your gastric acid to nitric oxide, which can now enter your nitric oxide pool. The nitrites in your stomach, which did not get converted, further downstream in the GI tract will be reabsorbed into the circulation. When those nitrites circulate back to your salivary gland, they'll be concentrated 10 to 20 fold. So that now, as you chew additional food, your own saliva is pouring nitrites into your mouth, which when swallowed, will be further reduced by your gastric acid to nitric oxide. How exciting is that? So, notice I said chew the nitrates. Don't even dream of anybody telling me it's important to have a smoothie. I hate smoothies. <laughs> smoothies are just a convenience, and what you've done is you've taken nature's whole food and you've processed it. We're not interested in processing. What happens? You pour these greens into the smoothie, 
and you say, my God, that's tart. So you throw in an apple and an orange and a banana. I have no problem with your eating an apple, an orange, and a banana because the sugar is bound to the fiber, the absorption of it is slow. You beat it all up, or you have orange juice or apple juice, it's terrible. Your <clears throat> sugar is no longer bound to the fiber. It goes off like a rocket in your stomach, injures the liver, glycates protein, and injures the endothelial cell. Okay. That's the end of smoothies. <laughs> and juicing. You've got teeth and a jaw, use it.